Assalamu alaikum sir. My name is Umail and I'm from BSPT. Uh, it's my presentation of chemistry. And my topic is uh, genome editing. So I shall start now. So basically, I'll tell you about now, uh, today about genome editing. That what is basically genome editing is. So genome editing or genome engineering or gene editing is a type of genetic engineering in which DNA is inserted, deleted, modified, or replaced in the genome of a living organism. Unlike early genetic engineering techniques that randomly insert genetic material into a host genome or genome editing targets, the insertion to site-specific location. Genome engineering, uh, genome editing is equal to genome targeted specific modification of the genetic information or genome of living organisms. The major advantages which uses more recent knowledge and technology, it enables a specific area of the DNA to be modified, increasing the precisation of the correction or insertion, preventing any cell toxicity and offering perfect reproductibility. Genome engineering and synthetic genomics most promising technologies in terms of biological research and industrial motivation. General principles uh, editing the genome using homology directed repair HDR are non homologous and joining NHEJ. Early approaches modifying genetic sequences using only homologous recombination. And the next point is genome editing, also called gene editing, that is a group of technologies that give scientists the ability to change an organism's DNA. These technologies allow genetic material to be added, removed, or altered at a particular location in the genome. Several approaches uh, to genome editing have been developed. A recent one is known as CRISPR Cas9, which is short for cluster regularly interspaced, interspaced short palindromic repeats and CRISPR associated protein. The CRISPR Cas9 system has generated a lot of excitement in the scientific community, community because it is faster, cheaper, and more accurate and more efficient than other existing genome editing methods. The other point is that genome editing is of great interest in the prevention and treatment of human diseases. Uh, so currently, most research on genome editing is done to understand diseases using cells and animal models. Scientists uh, are still working to determine whether this approach is safe and effective for use in people or not. So it is being explored in research on wide variety of diseases, including single gene disorders such as cystic fibrous, hemophilia, and sickle cell disease. It also holds promise for the treatment and prevention of more complex diseases such as cancer, heart disease, mental illness, and human immunodeficiency virus, HIV infection. So now we'll discuss about genome editing process. Basically, genome editing process is a fundamental part of genome editing process, is the identification of target genes that determine phenotypes of interest, such as successful susceptibility to viruses crush year rule 2018 other pathogen resistance to herbicides or advanced environmental factors assessments of natural variation or systematic genome wide screens are also powerful approaches to identify genes questionnaire at al 2003 penwas at al 2005 Pyot at al 2016 and greener at al 2017 now we'll discuss about genome uh, applications of genome editing. So first one is generation of animal models. CRISPR Cas9 system performs precise targeting and editing a specific DNA sequence of interest via a programmable mechanism that and that provides a versatile approach to establish transgenic animal models. While mouse models have been Widely used, the CRISPR Cas9 gene editing approach has been established in many other animal models, including worm, rat, rabbit, pig, and monkey. New mouse models can be generated with CRISPR Cas9 by injecting Cas9 mRNA and guide RNA, sgRNA directed into a mouse immersed to generate precise genomic edits into a specific loci with an efficiency of 100%. 
Here is where Cas9 mediated targeting and editing has facilitated the generation of knocking and knockout mouse models dramatically decreases at time and resource consumption comparing to traditional method. Next one is curing genetic disease. Although the CRI for Cas9 has already been widely used as a research tool, a particularly exciting future direction is the development of CRI for Cas9 as a therapeutic technology for treating genetic disorders. And researchers at Chinese Chinese Academy of Science reported successful correction of diseases uh, that are causing mutation in cataract mouse model via the CRISPR Cas9 system. Upon injection of CRISPR Cas9 into zygotes, one over three genetic defeat in the cataract mouse model would be corrected at the animal level, and more importantly, the corrected trait was successfully transmitted to next generation through the germline. So the last one is agricultural breeding. The CRISPR Cas9 technology opens up exciting possibilities for creating crop varieties with desirable traits without introducing foreign DNA. Precision breeding crops with desirable traits such as disease resistance and raw tolerance not only help reduce pesticide, fertilizer, and water usage, but also improve food quality and safety. Researchers at Penn State University created mushrooms with reduced production of a specific enzyme that causes mushrooms to blemishes caused by handling or mechanical harvesting. It becomes the first CRSPR edited organism to receive a green light from the U.S. government. Means, uh, it means that the mushroom can be cultivated and sold without passing through the agency's regulatory process. So CISP Cas9 is an emergency technology that enables precise genome you know, modification without introducing foreign genes. This transformative tool holds great promises to revolutionize biological research and expand our ability correcting the genetic causes behind many diseases. Now we'll come to genome editing chemistry. So its first definition is that we see that chemical genomics is simply a subset of genomics in which the focus is on small molecules. Broadly defined, it is a study of biological processes using small molecule intervention rather than genetic invention. And the other definition is that any study that is directed at gaining a holistic understanding of how small molecules interact with cells Using the, uh, by using this definition, we would include, for example, experiments, uh, those experiments in which drug treatment of cells has been studied using large-scale uh, large expression analysis or large-scale protein analysis. We see that chemical genomics is simply a subset of genomics in which the focus is on only on small molecules. So now we'll move to prospects of genome editing. There are various prospects of genome editing. So first one is that genome editing technologies that provides revolutionary ways to change, regulate, determine, and imagine genome in large animals, potentially offering novel applications in biomedicine and agriculture. Next, it is obvious that the effectiveness and specificity of genome editing with currently available tools still need improvement and that the safety and ethical concerns of using genetically modified tissues or organs and animals remain a focus of considerable debate. Next one is however mosaic mutations which are commonly observed in zygote injection based genome editing are another potential changes in editing of large animals. Next is gene therapy using genetic modification with exogenous DNA to treat inherited diseases offers new treatment molecule and multiple mechanical fields. The other one is the European Medicine Agency has approved Glabra for lipoprotein lipase deficiency and the FDA has assigned lentiglobin BB305 as a breakthrough therapy designation request for the treatment of transfusion dependent patients with B thalassemia major. And the next one, uh, we'll come to that. However, a broader spectrum of somatic cells editing needs to be developed. And both uh, uh, it includes both ex vivo and in humans. So next one is senotransplantation. It is that provides hope to patients living with organ failure and waiting for a donor. Yet the use of animal organs and tissues in humans is still not fully accepted due to some safety and ethical concerns. 
So further confirmation of the efficiency and safety of sinotransplantation is urgently needed for the procedure to gain acceptance. However, researchers and public still have concerns about the risk of human cells integrating into the host animal's brain or germline. And these concerns need to be taken into account. These concerns need to be taken into account and we should do something for them to protect uh, for the protection of humans and for the safety of humans. There should be no risk for human cells. So we should, uh, we should to be protect them. Uh, last but not the least, unlike uh, transgene technology that introduces an exogenous gene into the host genome randomly. So genome editing only changes the endogenous gene in, in an efficient and accurate way. There are some references of, uh, about what I have uh, used and this is that's it. I'm done with my topic. So thank you.